All right, guys, so today we are going to be breaking down the latest global producers letter that just dropped about an hour ago, and it provided us with some pretty interesting details about the upcoming part three of the worldwide celebration, in particular, the highly anticipated Extremes the Awakening for the STR cooler slash final form cooler. So with that said, let's jump right into it, starting with this first page here, which says, hello. This is the operation team of the international version of Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Have you performed summons in the Dokkan Festival and Legendary Summon Carnival that became available on uh, September 14th? Yes, I have. Time flies when you're having fun, and the worldwide celebration, the strongest in the universe campaign, has already reached its halfway point. Okay, so if it's only halfway, does that mean we're going to get a part 4 as well? I'm not really sure, but either way, they say it's halfway, so there we go. Now, this producer's letter will give you a sneak peek at future events. Without further ado, check out the next image. Let's do that. Okay, so image number two. Uh, Worldwide Celebration, the strongest in the universe campaign, part three. Here is some information about the third part of the campaign, which is starting on September 21st, and that would be in about two days from now. So we got new stages added to the high difficulty event, Fighting Spirit of the Saiyans and Pride of the Wicked Bloodline. And uh, based on the image, we can assume we're going to get a core cooler stage as well as a Super Saiyan Goku stage, right? So they say new stages will be added to the challenge event, Fighting Spirit of the Saiyans and Pride of the Wicked Bloodline. The enemies can raise their attack and, and uh, activate various skills, making this quite a difficult challenge. I mean, honestly, the last two stages with the Metal Cooler Army and also the Goku and Vegeta were quite a bit harder than I was expecting. And if these stages are even harder, then they might actually be a challenge, you know? So yeah, that's uh, that's interesting. That's interesting. And then um, what else? Oh, the main characters of this campaign, as well as characters related to the movies Cooler's Revenge and The Return of Cooler have an advantage in this event, so make sure to include them in your team. Furthermore, as a reward for completing certain missions from this event, you can get a unique title. This is the very first unique title available in the game, and it is even more amazing than the usual titles. If you're confident enough in your skills, try this event out. So, as you guys can see, we got the Fighting Spirit of the Saiyans and Pride of the Wicked Bloodline title, and it definitely is unique, at least compared to all of the other titles we've seen so far, right? The other ones have just been standard, like bronze, silver, gold, um, and, you know, with, like, a different text. But this one has, like, a crazy red and purple background, which is what we see in the, um, you know, event picture here. So, yeah, that's really dope. That's really dope. So, I'm assuming that you just have to clear all the stages, maybe you have to clear them under certain conditions, I'm not really sure, but I want that title for sure. I want that title. Okay, so now let's move on to the uh, next page here, which is talking about the Extreme Z Awakening for the STR Cooler, which is the main thing that we've all been waiting for. So here we go. Here is the latest information on the abilities of uh, Extreme Ultimate Power Cooler, who can be Extreme Z Awakened in Part 3 of the campaign. Leader skill, terrifying conquerors or transformation boost category key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 170%, pretty standard compared to the metal cooler, uh, Namek Goku, and so on and so forth, right? So there's the leader skill, passive is attack and defense plus 130%, okay, launches an additional attack that is a medium chance of becoming a super attack when the target enemy is in attack down or defense down status. And he can proc that himself with a super attack, which is great. And also, transformation boost category allies. Q plus two, attack and defense plus 50% when facing only one enemy. And then terrifying conquerors, category allies, Q plus two, attack and defense plus 50% when facing two or more enemies. So yeah, a big, big boost to his transformation boost uh, support right there, up to 50% now. 
um, you know, launching multiple supers. Attack and defense plus 130%. It's a good passive, especially the support side. That's really exciting. But if that was it, I wouldn't be that impressed, right? But what I love about this EZA is that on his super attack, he stacks defense, guys. He stacks defense. As you can see, raises defense, raises defense, causes immense damage, and lowers attack and defense. So what that means is that in longer events, you will get very, very tanky. And this is exactly what we've all been asking for, right? So you might not really start off as a good slot one unit, but after a couple of turns, after he's able to launch a couple of supers, and he can launch up to three supers in a turn now, right? So um, yeah, he's gonna be stacking pretty quick. And after a couple of, of uh, appearances, after a couple of rotations, he should get quite tanky and be able to serve as a solid slot one unit for the LR Final Form Cooler or whoever else you're trying to you know, run him with, right? But for me at least, I just really want him to be a good slot one unit for LR Final Form Cooler and he will be now with that uh, stacking of defense and also of course the insane support. The insane support, that also helps too. So yeah, I, I, I love this EZA guys, I'm very happy. I mean, if it was for nothing else but the super attack stacking defense, that would have been good enough for me, right? So, there is the uh, cooler. Now let's talk about the Extreme Z, or sorry, the, uh, well yeah, Extreme Z Awakened Final Form Cooler, right, with the transformation. Into Final Form Cooler, super attack becomes raises attack, causes immense damage, and massively lowers defense. And then passive is key plus four, attack and defense plus 200%. Launches two additional attacks, each of which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. Chance of performing a critical hit plus 10% per Rainbow Key Sphere obtained. And then performs a guaranteed critical, uh, critical hit when there is a Pure Saiyans or Hybrid Saiyans category enemy. And that's it. That is the STR Cooler Extreme Z Awakening, guys. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about it, what you think about it. I think it's really, really good. <laughs> I think it's really, really good. I mean, he is absolutely incredible from a support perspective, right? He's gonna be a god on support. And he's also gonna be really tanky in not just long events, like medium to long events. The only issue I can see with him is that in the beginning, like when you first start out, you have to be careful with him, right? Before he's able to stack some defense, with his super attack, he's not gonna be the most tanky, but he's still gonna be more tanky than before, and before he was getting like 200k plus defense to start, right? So now he should be getting, you know, 250, 300k to start, like on turn one, and then after a couple of supers, you're gonna build up to 400, 500k. So yeah, I think his defense will be fine. <laughs> I think it's gonna be okay. Like he shouldn't hurt you nearly as much as he did before defensively. And uh, of course in long events, He's gonna be a defensive god. So he's gonna be getting, I don't know, 700k plus, maybe a million plus, depending on the the length of the event, right? And uh, of course, the, the the support guys. The support is is absolutely crazy. So I'm very satisfied with this Extreme Z Awakening. If you guys feel differently, or even if you agree, let me know in the comments down below. And let's finish out this producer's letter here, um, page four, wait, hold on, page, this is page three, hold on, one, two, three, four, okay, four, and I missed this last part which says, if you have already recruited this character, grab the chance to power him up, in addition, this character can be recruited in the Tokon Festival that became available in part one of the campaign, if you haven't yet, make sure you recruit him, so, uh, yeah, he is available on the LR Final Form Cooler banner, right? So if you guys haven't pulled them yet, maybe try that banner, or you can just buy him with 400 uh, red coins, which I do think is worth it. I do think he's worth it. So it's up to you. Last page, here we go. Uh, Quest Dokkan Story is getting a long awaited update. A new area will be added to Quest in late October. The Quest Dokkan Story uh, renewal campaign, which celebrates the Quest update will begin on uh, October 3rd, so we're getting a new part added to the story finally after 
I don't know how many years. I think it's been like five years, honestly, because the last time we got an update to the story, to the quest mode, I think I had just started YouTube, guys. Like, I think it's been that long. I actually think it's been that long. So, yeah, uh, definitely a big deal to me, at least. And on top of that, we're going to get uh, tons of content that will make quests more enjoyable such as EXP from Quest Quadrupled and missions that will allow you to get up to 30 Dragonstones. That's nice. Plus, a legendary challenge campaign and an extreme challenge campaign for LR All or Nothing, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito, so free to play LR Vegito Blue will also be available. Clear the quest stages and complete missions to recruit the LR character through Awakening. Uh, further details on the events and missions will be announced through in-game announcements. Let's enjoy the Dokkan Quest Dokkan Story Renewal Campaign together. And that is all for this producer's letter. Many more events are coming through out October and onward. So we hope you continue to enjoy Dokkan Battle. So there you have it guys. That is the global producer's letter. Um, yeah, I mean, I was expecting this stuff, but... It's cool to know that we're going to be getting it soon in October. New quest stages and uh, the legendary challenge campaign for LR Vegito Blue. And the good news is that we will be getting him in the buffed state, not the original state that JP got. And everybody complained and made a big deal and uh, forced them to fix it, right? So we are getting the fixed Vegito Blue, which is very good in my opinion. So. And there you have it. That is the producer's letter update, guys. There's the breakdown. Let me know how you guys feel about all this stuff. Of course, in particular, the Extremes the Awakening for Cooler. Um, I'm sure some people will still find a reason to be upset, but I think most people should be satisfied, like me. So, guys, thank you for watching. That's going to be the video. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell. So that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.